So a male asks a woman for her number and she tells him no. And in response to that no, he picks up a brick, threatens her with it, and eventually hits her in the face with it. This all took place around a whole bunch of other males who did nothing but watch. I know you all remember this viral video that was everywhere earlier this week. I tried to post the video here on my page, but YouTube doesn't want me to post it. You know, they keep taking it down and they were not even monetizing the video. But then I want to try again and just post this particular part for you all to watch. You know, the viral video is a woman, a, a man asked for a, a black woman's number, a black man asked for a black woman's number and she refused to give him his number and you know what he did he tried me to hit a brick on her face and he did then her face was very swollen if you remember the story yeah that is it it's it's it got it got the old tiktok um accounts everywhere everybody talking on tiktok and everybody was just airing their opinion and i wanted to air my opinion as well so then this particular lady posted this particular video saying that these men there were men that were there and they watched you know they watched how everything happened and they did nothing like they literally did nothing after they said they want to be they want to be the man they want to be this they want to be superior they want to be that but then when you're supposed to act we're not acting i'm going to play a video for you all to watch the end and i'll come back and talk about it now i want y'all to riddle me this explain this to me as if i have just hilarious as literacy okay explain to me how males want to be viewed and treated as leaders and submitted to so damn bad but this is a common experience that we have with you all explain to me how y'all are just as afraid of your own as women are but want to be viewed as the leaders of the community because the truth of the matter is is if that crowd was a whole bunch of women i'm more inclined to believe that somebody or somebodies would have spoken up explain to me how y'all want the title and the benefits but don't want to earn it because as a group y'all are giving us nothing to work with and to row my heart is with you as you heal physically and emotionally i'm so sorry girl i didn't know what some men excuses were concerning this particular incident some were saying oh but you women said you don't need a man then why do you want us to help you when you're in need to be honest i have so i have like two or three men that were saying that which i did post the video but youtube was taking down the video i don't know why so they were like we women we say we can we, we don't need a man we can live our life without a man so why are we angry that men did not come in place to help us well well why we are in need why can't we just undo it by ourselves when we're saying i have to go home to my family my wife is waiting for me at home my daughter is waiting for me at home i don't want to get into any fights with anybody yada 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 and i'm like what if it was your daughter that this was happening would you do say that and just walk away like make it make sense like how can you as a this is just a normal human sympathy this is just like you have this normal human sympathy this is not about man and woman in this situation you saw your fellow human being hit with a brick on her face just because she didn't give this guy a number and you are you're giving excuse that oh women doesn't need men <sighs> make it make sense like you all you all making can do better like you can do better to be honest i have a few stitches to share with you all and i would like you all to sit down relax and watch and i'll come back at the end of the stitches to talk about my own opinion response to that no he picks up a brick threatens her with it and eventually hits her you know hearing about this young woman being hit in the face with a brick because she dared to tell a man no when he asked for her number it reminded me of when i lived in dc and i was walking down the street coming home from work and a man was catcalling and asking me for my number and i ignored him and i just kept walking and then out of nowhere i felt a bear bottle skip past my face and hit the wall that i was walking towards didn't engage him wasn't aggressive and yet violence still followed to all those doing the mental gymnastics trying to come up with every excuse possible why she is responsible for the violence that happened to her for telling a man no to her cell phone 
you are trash. And the men who stood by and watched are also trash. There's nothing in me that would allow myself to stand there and watch another woman get threatened with a brick, get hit with a brick, and not do something. Human experience is only as good as how we treat each other and how we see other people's issues and problems as our own, part of our own collective safety. That man who picked up that brick is a coward, a coward, and probably would have backed down had multiple men approached him to tell him to chill out. Because cowards take it personally when a random woman rejects them. Cowards then pick up a brick and decides to threaten and hit that said woman for rejecting them. And cowards create excuses why that woman deserved the violence that she experienced. Because they couldn't rise to the occasion. And they're ashamed. That's really what it is. They're ashamed. But yeah, tell us to call the police. You mean the same police that you don't trust? The same police that has like less than double digits and solving crime and more than often they actually create the crime or escalate the crime? That police? The same police that y'all were just talking about defunding? You want us to call them? Make it make sense. So a male asks a woman for her number and she tells him no. Y'all seen this video or a different version of it? Um, if not, you can go back and watch it. If you don't want to go back and watch it really quickly, <clears throat> excuse me. Basically, this male asked the young lady for her phone number. My bad, I had to clear my throat. He asked this young lady for her phone number. Um, she said no, and he hit her in the face with a brick. They said it was a bunch of other men standing around who basically did nothing to intervene. Um, now, keep in mind, you know, I wasn't there, so... I don't know how quickly this, you know, things escalated or anything like that. Um, but women, I know that this shouldn't be something that we have to do. And this is not a cure-all. This is something that I do myself and something that I've also told my daughter. If somebody approaches you, asks you for your phone number, and you know that never in this lifetime would you give them your number, still give them your number. You can block them. You know what I'm saying? Once they out of your space, like... And now you can't even give out a fake number because they try to call or text it while you're standing right there. So just give them your number. And you have to block it later. Yes, it's stupid. No, it's not something that we should have to do. But sometimes you have to do what's going to keep you safe. Especially now knowing that even in a room full of other men, they wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying, try to extend anything to make sure that you remain safe. So, baby girl, just to make it home safely and intact, give them your number. Just block them later. Um, it's not a cure-all. It's not um, anything that's going to solve the problem. But in that brief moment, it is something that will kind of hopefully, prayerfully ensure your safety. So, um, yeah, just give me your number. Happy Labor Day, y'all. Be blessed. He asks a woman for her number, and she tells him no. And in response to that no. So, ignore everything I got going on. Um, so it's early and I'm just getting off, but I want to say something about like this. So if you go back and watch the whole video, you probably heard about it. The guy... Um, asked for her number, she turned it down, said no, and he proceeded to pick up a brick, throw her with it, then hit her in front of a whole bunch of other men. And you think the men did anything? I, and like she said, I feel like it was a group of women to probably be a different scenario. Like, cause you, and then they always say you can't be the man, but honey, please, women go, I must, like, no, you're not just, that's just not gonna happen in front of them. Period. But, so, yeah, nowadays, people don't, if you're not in the dating scene, if you're a man, you don't understand, um, just giving out the number, like, frig it, because, Nowadays, it will hurt you, attack you for saying no. Like, if I don't want to talk, what if I got to, they don't give a damn if you got a man, nothing. These elaborate stories, they, just, they don't care. Let's, let, let me tell you something. I right, quit story time. I used to work in a shopping center. And I was on the way to go to lunch, just caught across the shopping center to $8, right? A guy seen me, he spoke, he spoke, he gave my number. He then, after I gave my number, he proceeded to wait for me to come out the McDonald's. They wait for me to go back follow me a crack across the street now, i didn't go into my job because you know like it was weird Followed me back across the street got out of his car came into the place that i was in and came up behind me and touched me on my behind like like i've known him for years like we've known each other for years like we would go together and i tell you i could have brought him faster because like sir like it is crazy how quick men sexualize you especially being a plus size woman like just living life like like if you got breast titties ass and stuff you can't help that you can't help that unless you want to walk around in a hook in a freaking sack you can't help that and men sexualize you to the fullest and they automatically think they don't, they, the reason i feel like they react like that because you don't see us as people per se not all of them some you see us more as objects because like 
a simple no would have been like, okay, like you had a little toe crunch you out. Be the girl, big girl, call you fat. So tell me what you don't want to talk to them. Make it make sense. I wasn't fat when you tried to talk to me. If I was fat then, all right. But yeah, women be, be safe. Because you got to give up a, don't. And nowadays, you don't give out a fake number because they get more mad like, oh, they call all that number wrong. Uh, if you don't give out your number, give out your number, give out your Snapchat. So, oh, I don't, my phone is off with her at the end of the day. I, if you can't call me, if I'm not going to do Wi Fi. If that's the case. So a male asks a woman for her number and she tells him no. And, in and people think that I'm paranoid and that I'm crazy, that I leave with a purse full of self defense tools. Sarah, you're paranoid, you're crazy. Am I? Am I? This, this situation. Am I crazy? No, no, I'm not. I'm prepared. But I wanted to give a little tip. So in this unfortunate situation, if a guy asks for your number, what I do is there's apps called text free that I use. It's just um, app on your phone. It, you can choose a random number. People can call and text it. I have it strictly for this reason. If a guy is harassing me, it will not leave me alone, and I don't want to get hurt like the woman in the original video, not this one, happened to her, had a brick to the face. I give out that number. That way, they don't have my real number. They can call and text it. I don't reply back. I can walk away unharmed. So, I would suggest downloading an app like that. Don't give them your WhatsApp. Don't give them your real number. Download the app and um, yeah, get some uh, self defense tools because in this day and age, you need them. So a male asks a woman for her number and she tells him no. In Someone please tell me, am I getting punked? Am I getting punked? Because, like, The girl who got her head bashed in with the bricks, she came on my FYP. I liked her video and just, you know, send prayers that she gets healed because that, that was bad. And I'm just in awe right now. I always grew up with the expectation that men protect women. You know? Like, that's just their role as a man like that's something you should just innately want to do as a man you want to protect women whether and it's just more important that you protect the women in your immediate family like obviously your mom and your sisters but you also want to protect all women you protect your village you protect everybody like I always grew up with that expectation and the fact that I'm seeing that that is not true Everything that's going on in my mind is making sense. Like, I remember I worked at a movie theater and I was the only girl on shift. It was everyone else was like guys and there was like 20 of us. So I was the only girl on shift that day. And when I tell you it was the scariest thing, we had like a homeless man come in and sit in our lobby and nobody was paying attention uh, because it was like a private movie theater. And he just sat there and then he just started like yelling like cat calling at me and like the bartender was like yo bro you need to stop but nobody else stopped it like they were cleaning the restrooms nobody else tried to stop it they were cleaning the other theaters nobody else tried to stop it like the way i saw these they were boys they were young but coming in and out of the lobby and nobody said anything and me, being the only girl, had to go up and ask this homeless man, Okay, sir, um, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. And then I had to be the one to go get the manager to actually like force him out, like, out of the theater. It blows my mind because I think about that incident and I'm just like, there is just, in this generation, where is the energy to protect women? Like, Where's the, mm, I just felt a chill. Like, where's the men who actually value women? Like, I just don't think we're seen as valuable anymore by men. And it's crazy to me because they come from women. 
like it's it's absolutely mind-boggling to me and the thing about it is i don't even i don't want to understand men anymore like i don't want to understand the other race because on top of that i cried over a man this morning very embarrassing very embarrassing but i did shed tears over a gargoyle today and <laughs> like i'm just i'm just in awe with the whole situation like are you serious what we need to do is start putting men back in war like have them just die like just die then like you're not going to be useful in society then you could be useful in the military go to the military go to some place where you can actually be of benefit because they don't benefit us in life anymore like they don't benefit us and that's a shame no he picks up a brick threatens her with it and eventually hits her in the face I have one man, and he is probably the most protective person over women I have ever seen. And men wonder why we find them disgusting. Oh no, men aren't all the same. Well, buddy, you better do something to fix your brothers because... You ain't gonna get any pussy either if they keep hitting women in the face with bricks. Sorry. This is a life for you now. If you don't want to fucking tell your brothers to chill the fuck out, you ain't getting any pussy, buddy. Oh well, bye. Bye. So a male asks a woman for her number, and she tells him no. This is so sad, but I believe we as women, especially black women, especially, especially dark skinned and brown skinned women, for some reason, it's really hard for us to believe or accept that our man will not protect us. No man on this earth will protect us um, unless it's like individually. But as a group, nobody is going to protect us but other black women. And some of them you still got to be careful with. You know, nobody is going to protect us, ladies. So let's try to learn how to protect ourselves. Um, we have no community. We do not have leaders in the black community unless it's other black women. <sighs> I don't know. My heart hurts. But I just want some of you to accept the fact that we aren't protected at all for real. So damn bad. But this is a common experience that we have with you all. Go. Go watch it. You back? Great, so glad you're here. Any men watching care to explain this to me now? If you want women to see you as a leader, um, I don't know, act like it. So a male asks a woman for her number and she tells him no. Hey TikTok, take a look at the video. Before taking a look at this one, I did have a video questioning, you know, does a man have a place in regards to if a woman that he doesn't know or is not related to um, protecting her uh, from danger if he is in the um, area? Now, there are implications behind intervention um, in doing things like this. And I get it, you know, because we're the stronger we are supposed to just jump and risk our lives for this stranger. Some of you are saying, hey, you know what? It's because the man is, is fears the other man. That's not always the case. You know, a lot of these, a lot of men have families to go to. And when you talk about leadership, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I believe that most men want to be the leaders and respected in their households. <sighs> Would I have helped this woman? I would have tried. I would have at least called the ambulance. But I have stuff to go home to. Um, I have people that count on me, you know, in certain things, such as a mother I have to take care of and things of that nature. If I get killed, these people are exposed to hardship. And that's the, that's the problem with a lot of men out here is that a lot of us just have things to lose. You know, it's unfortunate the best way I could say it. And a lot of times, you know, this conversation has come up that a lot of men don't feel appreciated by, by women at all.
You know, a lot of times uh, men are just treated wrong, man. You know, I don't want this, however, to seem that, you know, a man should not help a woman. If I could, I would. I don't have the ability to carry firearms, for example, because I'm an ex-felon. So what am I doing, you know, at at this age in my late 40s against who knows whatever with this guy, right, who has a brick in his hand? If I pop him, I ain't supposed to have guns, but if I shoot him, um, the question is going to be on my end, hey, you want to know what, where'd you get the gun from, Right. That's an automatic 10 years for me, even if I was just helping this woman. Soon as he hit her with the brick, I popped him, shot him three, four, five times. I'm not supposed to carry firearms. Um, I'm just using this as a small example. What I'm trying to say is there are layers behind making the decision to risk your life for a stranger. There's so many layers and implications that fall behind it. You got single fathers, for example. We don't know if some of these guys that were in the crowd had families to go home to. What their place was in their family. It's just a selfish way of thinking to to sit there and think that the average man is going to sit there and risk his life for one person he doesn't even know. Putting in jeopardy his family. Because if this if this guy dies. Who's going to pay the mortgage? Okay. Who's going to do this? Who's going to pay the bills? Who's going to do all of these things? So that burden is, is, it's a high decision. Now, kudos to the men who would risk it all for a stranger. That is a profound, um, you know, it's not, I wouldn't call these men stupid. I would call them heroes for those who would. But I don't feel that the men who wouldn't should be judged um, as if they are part of the problem or or they are they are the issue. That's just not the case. We have to think rational. Now, should a guy, if he can call the police? Yes. If he can call the ambulance? Yes. Um, Suture the wound? Yes. Once the danger is clear? Yes. Try to grab her up, pick her up using a man's power to, to, to pick her up and, and get her to a safe space. Yes. Now, the decision to intervene with violence, that should be a respected decision. Just like if a woman didn't want to sleep with a man, it should be respected. Did a, just like is the decision of a woman saying, hey, no, I don't want to give you my phone number. It should be respected. But I don't know. You know, please like, follow, share. Let me know what you think, because I see that. Um. So a male asks a woman for her number and she tells him no. So.
So a male asks a woman for her number and she tells him no. I remember I had made a video about this like well over a year ago. I was telling my story about how this man was trying to ask me for my, well, this man was trying to get my number and I told him no. And he spat at me, called me all types of bitches and hoes and spat at me. All because I did not want to give him my number. Mind you, I was a teenager and this is a grown ass man. And to nobody's surprise, there was a lot of men in my comment section saying that I was lying and that was cap, but blah, blah, blah. And I'm to this day, I'm still trying to understand why does that story sound so far fetched to them? Like, what do I have to gain? Like, I, I didn't, it didn't make any sense to me. Like, I don't think men understand how terrifying it is sometimes to be a woman. Because, like, you, we got to do all this extra stuff to protect ourselves. And I ain't going to lie. To this day, I'm still kind of scared to tell a dude no. Because I don't know how they're going to react. Because a situation that happened to me when I was a teenager, that was not the last time it happened. So, like, the fact that they think that we be lying is just, that's so wild to me. And you know what's even more crazier? The fact that, like, they will literally hold you up to make sure that you're giving them the right number. Like, I had a man literally grab my wrist. Like, I was about to walk off. He grabbed my damn arm to make sure that my phone was ringing in front of him. Like, they don't get it. Like, they really do not get it. A woman should have the right to tell you no. And just take a no for it. You shouldn't go as far as being violent with her. I know a lot of men cannot undo rejection. When you reject them, they feel less a man and they feel like, oh, I'm going to show her, I'm going to deal with her, I'm going to make her feel like, okay, she's worthless. A part of the world where I am, when a man walk up to you and, you know, make advances at you and be like, oh, girl, you look beautiful, can I have your number? I love your skin, I love the way you walk, you know, you like my spec, you know, all those hits, hits thingy when a man says that and you're like excuse me i'm not interested i'm please leave me alone you know the next thing the man's gonna say is you are not even fine the same man oh, that was telling you hyping you you're not even fine you look very ugly look at the way you look at your leg is like this look at the way your yash is they will now start insulting you to make you feel like ah and other people around them will start laughing at you and even add more insults to it just because you rejected them. So I'm not surprised when you reject a man, they, they, they just change it for you. I think that's just it. But what got me surprised was he, was he had to hit her with a brick on her face. That was violent. And this is like... This is like a wake-up call for all women. Try to have a protection with you when you're walking on the streets. Especially if you're alone or you go somewhere new. Try to have your pepper spray, your teasers, even a pocket knife. Just for protection. To be honest, just imagine you have your pepper spray. Immediately, before even it's, it's threatening you, you're already done your thing and you're out of there. But then, another thing that got me surprised again was there were people there and men and they didn't even like try to stop the whole incident from happening or be like guy guy what, what's up with you will you stop that you know and they didn't do that they just allow it to slide and at the end of the day the men that were in their houses were carrying their phones to make tiktok videos and saying what are we supposed to do what are we supposed to do i don't know her so why should i protect her I have a family at home to go to. I just came back from work. I'm tired. I cannot be fighting on the road. Another one is, but you men, you women say you don't need men. Why should we? Why should we help you? You women, stop stop playing victim. Hey, I really don't know what's going on in the black community, but when it comes to life and death, I feel like we should just put our differences together and help each other. It doesn't have to be man and woman situation when it comes to life and death when you see your fellow human it's common it's common human feeling to see even somebody you're fighting with you hate and you you see them like wants to put their feet inside something that it's going to trap them for life you try to be like mm -mm 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 -mm. you can get killed by going there you try to protect them that's human feeling you put your differences aside and try to help them but 
the, the responses I'm seeing is just it's crazy. And that's what today's video is all about. Thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. Let me know what you think about today's video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.